What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I'm bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this time we're continuing my unique weapon guide series with a gun that falls under one of the lesser utilized weapon types in the game, but it's still great and fun to use. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your hub for daily Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Gainer, which is a unique 44 Magnum that will light your enemies on fire. Unfortunately, 44 pistol ammo is a bit of a rarity in Fallout 4. It's hard to find, and that's a little frustrating, but a properly modded revolver can go a long way with a specific build. Also, this is one of the easiest unique weapons to find in the game. You don't have to pay any caps, you don't have to kill anything, it's just waiting for you. So, you might as well go and get it if you're not even going to use it. This weapon is located south of a location called the Hub City Auto Wreckers, and this is in the northeastern part of the map, so it's kind of near the Museum of Witchcraft, a little south and west of that, but it's way north and east of, you know, downtown Boston area. And so, once you go to this location, you're going to look at it and then turn south, and then right behind you is going to be these kind of stairs leading to this, you know, body of water here, and then there will be this cracked open door. This is where you want to go. And like I said, there are no enemies here, so you don't have to worry about anything. And really, I guess the appropriate level would be just whatever level requires you to be able to get over here to fight through whatever enemies you would encounter on the way. That's all you need in order to get this. Once inside, you're going to come across this door that is locked with some weird kind of buttons here. And it's not overtly obvious what you have to do here, but there is a code that you can use to get into it. And it's just written on the wall right behind you. So if you turn right around, it's going to be just right on that rafter kind of thing right there. I don't know. That's just a wall there. 0451. However, you can't get O. You can do 10. And 10 is the number that works for that. So just in order from left to right, you're going to do 10, 4, 5, and then 1. And you just click the button for however many times in order to get the indicator. It's kind of hard to see because it's, it's really weird in the game. It kind of glitches out. The texture looks weird. I don't know what it is. But anyways, this is a common code among games for some reason. This is a code in some of the Bioshock games, a lot of Irrational games, and a lot of other kind of stealthy slash shooter games have this code. So a bit of information there for you guys. But here is the gainer. As you can tell, the modifier sets targets on fire for 15 points of damage. That is the incendiary modifier. And I'm going to be honest with you guys up front here. This is not the best modifier. If you compare this to wounding, it's not nearly as good. Wounding gives you 25 bleed damage. This is just 15 points of fire damage, and it doesn't stack. So if you shoot an enemy four times, you're not going to get 60 points of fire damage over that amount of time or however much that would be. It's just 15. So you can't reapply that effect and have it stack on top of itself. Also, you should find this weapon at around 50 damage. I don't have Gunslinger on this character, so I wanted to show you guys you know, exactly what you'd find it at. I think I do have a little bit of bloody mess, so that might be factored into that damage number, but you should find it around here. And also, it already comes with some great mods, so let's talk about modding this weapon right now. The only recommendation I can give you guys for modding is to change the receiver, because everything else is exactly how you would want it. So, the advanced receiver is what you want to go for. However, it does require rank 4 of gun nuts, so you will be... You will need to be, that is, at least level 39 in order to put this on or make it. I mean, you could find an advanced receiver out in the world, but your odds are very slim. I don't think there are a lot of 44 weapons out in the world. There are a few more, you know, 44 unique weapons out there that I might cover in the future, but really, this is what you get. And you already have the comfort grip, the bull barrel, and the reflex sight, which, by the way, I think is the best sight for this weapon already on there. So it's pretty much ready to go right out of the box. The main thing that I noticed while using the gainer, and I guess this would apply to any 44 weapon, is that there's not a lot of ammo in the world. It's hard to get yourself a lot of ammo, and you could go to vendors and they'll have just a few rounds on them, and then that'll you know reset in a day, but you're not going to find a ton of ammo in one place. So your odds of having more than like 100 rounds on you at once are very slim. And so really it's important to kind of tailor your playstyle for preserving your ammunition. So that would mean this would be great for VATS based builds and using VATS is the surest way to preserve your ammunition and also aiming for center mass. So that would be aiming for the torso is probably most likely in most cases the best idea because you're going to have better accuracy on the torso. It may not kill them quicker, but you are going to save that ammunition that you might waste aiming for the head. 
An interestingly good source of 44 ammo seems to be meat bags. I don't know if you guys are, you know, killing a lot of super mutants lately, but wherever they are settled, there's a lot of meat bags, and those tend to have more 44 ammo than any other container in the game. So if you are searching for that ammo and you're not on PC, you can't just give yourself some, then I would go ahead and, you know, try to find a super mutant settlement. Now you may be thinking, hey, JV, I'm just going to take Scrounger. That'll be fine. I'll have my ammo. It'll be a good time. Well, it's not going to be, because Scrounger apparently doesn't affect 44 ammo, which is insane. I don't know what Bethesda was thinking with an ammo type that you really can't find a lot in the game. I mean, it would make sense if these 44 guns were just like the best thing ever, if they were like Gauss rifle status, and that's why they were rare. Well, the ammo is rare. It's just not the case. Finally, if it wasn't already obvious, you need to use Gunslinger if you want to maximize the damage with this weapon. You can effectively double it by going to rank 5 of Gunslinger. But as you can tell on this character, I took a lot of agility and luck perks, and this gun absolutely destroys at a certain level. It just depends on your character. So I'd like to know after watching this video, are you going to go out and get the gainer? Is this something that you're interested in? I think this weapon definitely does have some value just because it's easy to get. You literally don't have to do anything. You just have to be able to get to a certain location in the game in order to get the gainer. And I think that has value in and of itself. However, the modifier here is just not gonna compete with the likes of Kellogg's pistol, Eddie's piece, you know, other 44 Magnums with better modifiers. It's not gonna compete with those, but it is something you can get fairly, fairly early if you're running a gunslinger character. All right, guys, today I showed you how to get the Gainer Unique Revolver in Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. And remember that this is your hub for Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique weapon guides, build guides, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.